Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to turn a pumpkin into a functional Bluetooth speaker. This thing is great for Halloween parties or for sitting next to your candy dish on Halloween night. Imagine how freaked out your trick-or-treaters will be once the jack-o'-lantern starts talking to them. So let's get started. For the brains of this project, I'm using this simple Bluetooth kit that I got from Kittronic. They make all kinds of cool kits and this one just seemed perfect for a project like this. You could use a pre-made Bluetooth speaker, but I like this kit because it's easy to put together and also really easy to modify. For instance, if I had two pumpkins, I could put one of the speakers in each and then use stereo audio to make them say different things. These kits are really easy to assemble. You just solder on the power switch, solder the wires to the board, and then solder the other end of the wires to the speakers. Make sure you keep positive and negative in order. A good rule of thumb is to use the wire with the line on it for negative and the other wire for positive. And that's it. Okay, now it's time to test it out real quick. So I've got just the micro USB. I don't have a LiPo battery right now, but you can power it with micro USB too. And then just one of these power banks. So I plug it in, plays a little startup noise. And I've already got it paired with my laptop. You can see it shows up as Kittronic Amp. And now it should work just like a normal Bluetooth speaker. It is officially October, and to celebrate, I thought I would put together these Halloween-themed PCB kits. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. I even think it sounds better than a lot of Bluetooth speakers. And the cool thing is that you get to make your own case for it. Speaking of cases, I'll be using this pumpkin. It's a little bit small, but it's my first pumpkin of the year, so that's okay with me. And now we carve. It dawned on me that this would be much easier if I created a larger access hole in the back. So that's what I've done here. After cleaning the inside, it's ready to assemble. I put down some cheesecloth to protect the speakers from pumpkin bits and also to hide them from the holes in the face. Then I put everything in there and left a USB cable hanging out the back for power. I also went ahead and secured the cheesecloth with a few toothpicks. Then I put a wad of cheesecloth over the electronics, partly to hide them, but also to create a surface for placing a light. And for the light, I'm using this pumpkin PCB that I assembled in a previous video, but any light will do. Next, I closed up the back panel and secured it with some toothpicks. And now it's complete. The only thing left to do is play some audio through it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas that would make this project even spookier, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, bye!